vortex. I just had a super pleasant encounter with a very overweight chick. And the reason why I mention it is because I know that I talk a lot of shit about people. And then whenever I meet somebody that it's a particular demographic that I bitch about, I feel like a piece of shit because I just don't want to be like that. I don't want to be hateful, you know? And I I see that so much everywhere I go. Which is this, you know, typecasting. And then and then I talk to somebody that's like really, really kind and genuine. And and I guess like it doesn't make what I said previously untrue. But it's like, I forget that those people exist. And, you know, just working in the restaurant industry, I have a tendency to, you know, lump everybody in the same category. And, you know, also, you know, having the very comedic mindset, we tend to do that because it helps us write jokes. Um, but... so emotional but just I'm really grateful for the fact that like I can see people's humanity but I guess that's why it hurts so much living in this world because there are really good people that are, are getting completely screwed over and a lot of really good people are duped by this so-called civilization, you know? That convinces them to believe lies. Lies about themselves and lies about medicine and lies about the people that run this place. And, you know, I'm this crazy artist that stays up all night and like, I've always known that I was never going to have this normal, conventional life. So, a lot of stuff that's going on in the world, it doesn't affect me anywhere near as much as it affects people that have kids, people that are married, people that, you know, run a business and shit like that. And, I don't know. It, I don't want anything bad to happen to other people all because they believe lies, you know? Like, in a way... There is that part of me that made that poster that says they deserve to be exploited, you know, but it's like, <laughs> do they really though? It's like, they live in a world that lies to them all the time. live in a world that poisons them with literally everything that we have in our culture. And people are just obsessed with certain aspects of it, you know? But they're really missing the bigger picture when they're obsessing about one thing or two things or three things, you know? There are at least 500 things <laughs> that are killing us, you know? Like, I received some text message yesterday from, like, some political person urging me to call my senator and, and beg them to vote no on, on some sort of amendment or I don't know what the fuck it was, but it was, like, it was about city planning. It was about development. Okay, they always talk about development. Like, oh, we're developing this land so that we can put up more corporate bullshit. And, you know, that's not even in my fucking county. So I don't know why they sent me this message, but... It's like, I was thinking about how, well, it, that doesn't affect me directly, but that's something that affect me indirectly. 
And that's one of the biggest problems with our society is that people are like, oh, well, that doesn't have anything to do with me, so I shouldn't care about it. You should always care about what happens to other people. And not just because it probably will eventually happen to you, but because that's a reflection of how terrible of a person you are, dude. The fact that you don't care what happens to your neighbor or what happens to somebody down the street, you know? And this is why it's so easy for the left to get away with all the stuff that the left gets away with because at least they pretend to care, you know? Anyway, it just made me upset because like, I, yeah, I know a lot of people that live in Nashville, so. And they're doing it everywhere. They're not just doing it in the cities. They're, they're doing it in the suburbs. They're eventually going to do it in all the rural areas as well. So, nobody makes it out alive. Jim Morrison said that shit.